Coach, we'll start off uh, the juice today. I should just even just know where we're going with that. And I, I was really impressed with a guy that really came out today ready to go. Uh, right right from the moment at 6.30 when we crossed those doors was Tanner Moku. He's done one heck of a job playing safety, working in at some nickel. And then a guy that I just, I, I've been keeping my eye on, he's done a good job. He's gotten a lot of reps because of opportunity with JoJo down, Cannon Katzer. Thought he had one heck of a day being multiple, doing a lot of different things. So just excited about his progress. Obviously, there's not full contact on the quarterback or anything, but it did seem like the edge rushers and the defensive line were really kind of being disruptive, and there may have been a few sacks that had been yeah. full speed, full contact. Absolutely, and I, I thought it really showed up in the last period. You know, when we did the second uh, second and ten and then play it for uh, the situation from there, I thought they neutralized them a little bit better. Uh, you know, the BJ and RJ, they're a handful. And, and then you mix in Ram speed, Eddie's toughness, Gabe's power. You know, Quinn's still not out there running around yet, so we feel we got a good mix of people that can really mix it in there and, and get to the quarterback, which is one of our biggest emphasis going into next year. Just uh, noticed Malake was going right guard with the, with the ones today. Uh, are you kind of working him back in there, or is that just something going on with Christian? No, I, I think it's uh, we're going to have to you know have some multiple guys, and, and I think Malake, you know, he, he's learning that tackle and what that means and playing in more space. But it's also because of the progress of Jack Wilson and, and Falili, you know. So we want to keep mixing and matching and finding the best combination. Christian was back, kind of working back in a little bit more today, just after being ill on Saturday. So uh, you'll see that quite a bit with those guys rotating around. Even uh, Kingston playing a little guard. What is our best five? And we still got to work to find that combination. You know, not a, not a spring ball question, but in the last couple of days, a new face joining the program, Rashad McKenzie uh, signing. Just some comments on him and what, what you think he's going to be able to bring to this program. Well, just excited about Rashad. You know, we really stayed the course for a long time um, and just kept working through him and helping him really achieve his, his goals and dreams too. But to add any big body that we can to this program with power, speeds, and athleticism, I think is a special gift for us at this, this moment. So uh, we feel like his playmaking and his ability is really high and excited about what his future is going to bring to our defensive front. Apparently I have to ask these questions here so I don't get to yell at. Hey, just, you know, obviously trying to get everybody better. Are there specific things you're looking for out of this spring out of your team? Absolutely. I think the first one is a mentality. And like I told our coaches, we're starting from start. Like, let's, let's pretend this program is brand new, which it is. And there's just a mentality of how we practice, how we do individual, how we finish, how we protect the ball, how we tag off. You know, so it's really just starting from start and making sure we're creating a mentality that can't be beat, that really sustains for four quarters. Uh, and it's really an iron sharpens iron. You know, what I want our guys to understand, there isn't winners and losers. This isn't an offensive win day or defensive win day. Okay, how is the team improving the team? How are we making ourselves better each and every day? And when we just strive to be our best as an individual, that's how our team's going to grow. So it's a daily mentality of how we want to do things. Uh, and if you're a football guy, you love this time of year because you get that day in between. It's teaching, it's fundamentals, and it's growing. So we're just starting from the basics and striving to work forward and get better. Speaking of teaching, you, you, are you having to teach your coaches because there's so many new faces? what you expect from them in turn so they can teach what, what you want? 100%. Okay, John Stiglmeyer of South Dakota State said, as a head coach, your position group is now your assistant coaches. And that's exactly where we're at. And I, I put you know, a little bit of pressure on our guys every day is we got to get on the same page. There's no excuse for the things that we can control not to be perfect on the grass. So every day there's a list. Every day we go through it. Things that we can control, we got to keep striving to get better at every day as we continue to mesh. You know, I think our personalities as a staff are really meshing. Now as we get out here, we got to be on the same page. Right, so what Eric's saying, that's what Nick says, that's what Clay says, that's what Coach Filani and Coach Mark are saying. Let's make sure defensively, you know, we got the same checks and mindset. It's an everyday thing. So as our O and D are working, our coaches are doing the same things. I'm watching you on the field when you're 11 on 11. You're standing in a place you don't normally stand. You're yeah. on the offensive side. Is that yeah. taking a little bit of an adjustment to, to kind of be over there to, to oversee everything? Well, it, it's the best view and it's where I stay out of the way. As a defensive coordinator, trust me, there's plenty of old guys that hated where I was standing. But 
it's creating a mentality both ways, both sides. You know, wanting to make sure this team sees me as the head coach of the team. I've said that multiple times. Um, but just breathing life to how we want to do things, right? I think there's been a mentality that we've had the last couple of years on defense. Now it's a mentality for the team, and I just want to drive the bus from that position. And just understand that those front guys, those old linemen, they set the tone for everything we do. So I'm with those guys more than anything, making sure that they're setting the tone, and I think the rest of the team follows. What have you seen out of Cam so far when he's been on the field? You know, I love his command of this offense. You can see, you know, let, let's say a quarterback comes in as a freshman, he plays right away. That jump from that freshman to sophomore year is incredible. That's what we're noticing right now. You know, so his command of the offense, where he wants to do, the pictures that he's given, uh, and just that he can, he's capable of making all the throws and making all the plays. And that's an exciting thing to have right because you know he's capable of doing it and we have the confidence in him to go out and cut it loose and that's us as coaches kind of breathing life into him but i think he's special and when we clean up some of the fundamentals that we're still working on uh his ceiling's incredibly high i'm going to ask you about your shirt you're wearing absolutely tell me about why you picked basketball today to wear out uh, here. It's, it's a big day you know and, and a, nit final four 6 30 p.m i know i'll be parked upstairs calling recruits and watching the game you know they came through here the other day it's a uh it's special for us what what, what kyle and cammy and, and and soccer and, and volleyball what we're building as an athletics program here at washington state is something that's special to all of us so i'm excited for what they're doing and i can't wait to watch the game and you know go kooks we're excited about them Morning, coach. Yep. Um, so second day with pads on today, and you can really hear some of that, especially like some of the lead blocks coming through yes. during those team periods. How much of that toughness and physicality do you want to play into like the identity of this team? We will run the ball, you know, and I think that's something I've told the team multiple, multiple times. And it was our first inside uh, run drill today. There's no RPOs, <laughs> right? Offense knows you're running, defense knows you're running. We're loading the box, and you got to make movement and have some push and be physical. So we put them in some bad situations, and it's fun to see. I saw Moon Ashby and uh, some of these tight ends on some, some real physical blocks coming back, and our combinations are working strong. But we will run the ball, and that is a mentality and a mindset that we'll always have in this program. Great. Thank you, Coach. Absolutely. Thanks, Everybody coach. good? Go Cougs. Thanks, yep. guys. Thanks.